What's up guys? We are live, we are back. We are skipping the track selection screens. We got an eight race GP. And then we're gonna do what we usually do and do a bunch of fun formats because there's so many options, so many fun room options. And after that, worldwide. Oh, okay. New track. Wow, it actually randomized one of the new tracks. That's crazy. That was a very low chance. Right, let's see if I can... Oh! Oh! Wow. Oh, it's gone. I was like, my mistake got me a Mega Thunder Cloud, but nope. Okay, so it's three laps. Oh, we gotta go this way. So this is the Mario Kart Tour Rome track. And you're gonna see some similarities with it and the 8 Deluxe version. And it actually wasn't that difficult to memorize. I think I got it down. It's actually not that long of a track. I like how the mini-map has like one section that's brighter than the rest. So it shows all the different routes of Rome, but it doesn't like obviously have those parts of the track in it. Still a nice little touch. Oh, got stolen again, are you kidding? Gotta get used to this layout here. There might be a small shortcut with one of the trick ramps. Okay, I cannot believe I'm in fourth right now. It's been a rough first race. And I definitely need to turn up the brightness on my monitor. I'm having a lot of trouble seeing this one. Okay. Gotta be careful. Now this, you could probably cut this, right? Not really. Kind of. That was really my only idea for a shortcut. I don't really see too much shortcut potential on this one otherwise. And there's a couple more new tracks. There's also a Choco Island. I'm just gonna hold this, yeah. Um, and then there is Bangkok Rush as well. There might be another one, I'm not sure. We'll, we'll take a look at the tracks. That was only my second run through ever on that one. When this first came out on day one, I played it. And I think most of the people in this room probably have never played that. All right, let's 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 play this one next. And then Mario Circuit got updated, so we will try that one as well. There's some ramps added. And let me pull up the chat real quick. One second. What is up everyone? We got Micah, Bryo, Shane, Brandon, Ted Cheeks Gaming, Laser N. What is up? Not much time to read the chat. The race is already starting. These races start almost immediately. You, you can play like an eight race GP in like 20 minutes. It's crazy. Oh, oh, oh gosh, this is gonna be, I'm gonna hit the wall here for sure. All right, we gotta learn the layout on this one too. This is gonna be, once again, Mario Kart Tour version of the track, not the eight deluxe. Okay, this section, very familiar with this. And then there's a stairwell right here. Nice. You might be able to do a shortcut over there. Oh, I didn't even see that, okay. Just learning this on the fly right now. Okay, so that's that's already one lap. And once again, it's the same lap over and over. It's not like we're used to on 8 Deluxe. Oh, you can trick off that, that's cool. Now if I trick off this, I go to the right. It works a lot better. See, I don't have to hit the wall this time. Okay. Figuring it out, I'm figuring it out slowly. Let's go up here again. It looks like it's a actual it's actually like a little off-road shortcut to go up top. I'm just gonna go down. I'm not sure what the fastest way to go about things is on this one. These tracks are just completely unknown to me. 
On most of these Retro Rewind tracks, I know like the fastest routes and the shortcuts, but this one, definitely not. Yes! Okay, we dodged the red. Loving the music. Fantastic. We actually have quite a bit of a lead over third right now. Green shell. It's gonna hold this. Banana, no blue shell. We're gonna get second. Not bad. Okay, I actually really like that one. I feel like I got the hang of that one better than Rome. I feel like I made way more mistakes on Rome. Gotta get this brightness up. Gotta go into the brightest possible setting. Okay. First place overall, nice. And we'll do we'll do Wii U Mario Circuit before we do RMX Chocolate Island. Shortcut, what is up? Troy's Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Experience paying off with knowing the layout. Yeah, I know at the very beginning I was like, what do I do? And then I was like, oh wait. I recognize this whole lap. That one was way easier for me than Rome. I feel like I, I got that one almost immediately. I think I only made one mistake. On Rome, I definitely got lost a little bit on lap one. Okay. Let's see how we feel about the update now on this track. I felt like it was really missing a lot of detail last time I played it. Okay, so there's only one piranha. Oh no, there's two piranhas, okay. And then there's a lot of ramps here. Uh-oh. Oh, I gotta watch out. I'm just gonna go wide. Just gotta sacrifice second place here. Not risking getting squished. And then I'm pretty sure you can low trick the last ramp. Yeah, I got the low trick. Let's go. Oh. These greens are everywhere. All right, good thing I held that red. I was so tempted to throw it, but I had to play smart. But it doesn't matter, there's another red, and there's gonna be another red. There's no way I dodge all of these. I'll try though. Oh, it worked! I cannot believe I just dodged that. That was insane. This one's, it's definitely better now. There's no Goombas on the track though. Which is kind of weird. I don't think I got the little trick there. Pretty good though. Sometimes you get really high air off that ramp. Oh. I'm not even going for an item. I just wanted to make sure I kept the Mega Thunder Cloud. Oh. I think I got this. Hopefully, no blue shell. Yeah, see, you get really high air off that. You go off the far left side. It's kind of like the Moo Meadows ran. You can just get low air by going off the side of it. Oh my gosh. Exhilarating. I'm so happy I took the inside lane, preserved the Mega Thunder Cloud. Ended up getting the dodge. Didn't need an item. Great GP so far on the new tracks. Okay, let's see. RMX Choco Island 1. This is a new one as well. Let's try this out. Yeah, the, the I, I do agree. Uh, Woolsey says, amazing race. And also a much improved version of the track. Just having all the ramps makes that whole section way better. Makes it feel a lot more like the eight deluxe Mario circuit. So uh, definite improvement. Still need some Goombas, but yeah. I, re I really like it, I was, I was impressed. Oh, you can probably low trick that. Is this off-road? No, but there is a little bit of elevation change. Okay. This is kind of like Excite Bike Arena. That's what it feels like right now. I'll just throw this back. And there's only two more corners coming up. That looks like a shroom spot. Can you low trick these? Oh yeah, easy. These feel like they're automatic low tricks. Do I even have to? Oh, they're free. Yeah, the low tricks are absolutely free on this track. Okay, let's see if I can get this low trick. A little bit too much speed. I threw my green back the second the shock happened there. 
I cannot believe it. We're on race four and we're only like 10 minutes into the stream. This is just so different than streaming in the past. Like I'm so used to it being like 50% racing, 50% loading screens. And here it's like, I have time to read one chat message <laughs> between races. Okay. I'm a little nervous because it's a very, very close pack. If I get blued, I'm done. Yeah, I failed to get the low trick every lap. I think it's possible though. There it is, there it is. Okay, now we're really fighting for a middle spot. Maybe get third? Let's see. We gotta hold this. We can't be risking anything. Third? I, I, I really just beat ZPL at the line? Oh wow. Everything is going right for me, this GP. Yeah, unbelievable. Okay, so it's not telling me how much I won by over ZPL. I think it only does that in Worldwides. Because I was really expecting to see the digits at the end there. Intense races. Got wheelie bumped at the end. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Kiwi MK7 with the 50 euro donation. Insert TWDH here. Have a good day, Troy and chat. Kiwi, oh my gosh, thank you so much. I I am shocked. <laughs> Just dropping a $50 donation the moment the stream starts. Thank you so much. Wow, I can't even concentrate right now. Did not expect that. Oh wow, did we really just pull the bullet? Shroomless shortcut time. I might go for it. Let's see who's behind me. There's no one behind me right now. All right, not even close. Thank you, Bullet, for bailing me out. Bam, pow, dodge. Oh, we're gonna be in first. Luck is just on my side this GP right now. Okay. Target shocked. Why did I say luck was on my side? There it goes. Actually, this is still pretty good. We're still in third. It's a lot better to get shocked there than the other ramps. Ah, missed the item. Very close right now. I'm gonna try to block the shortcut. I think I might have blocked it. Oh, going wide. I hope I blocked it. People will go for it for sure. In uh, 2024 Mario Kart Wii, so many people are consistent at the BCB glitch, especially, especially with a mushroom or with Daisy. You see people going for it all the time now. I gotta say, this texture is phenomenal. I'm really impressed by this texture. This is one of the best base game textures. I was about to say, please don't get target shocked. Okay, well we know the shock was used to 10, so I mean there might be another one at the very end, but I think we're, we're in the clear here. Okay. No blue shell, hopefully. Oh, we're getting major air from this pal. Sometimes when you go off ramps and a pal happens, it shakes the screen a bit and it makes you get way more air than anticipated. All right, we're getting second here. Oh! KC could have ended my life right there with the back green. I almost got just Mario carded. I could have easily finished like 7th or 8th if that green hit me. <sighs> that was close. That was close. I'll take 2nd though. I'll take 2nd. Alright, let's see the point totals here. We are up by 8 right now. And I think that was 5 races. So, 3 more to go. We're going to do 8 race GPs. Let me know 
in the comments or the chat, I guess would be the proper term, what game modes you would like to see. We can customize weight class. We can make it so everyone's forced onto lightweights or middleweights, for example. We can force everyone on carts or bikes. We can change the item game mode to shrooms only, blast blitz, random items. And there's probably a couple more things we can do, like not thinking of 200 CC is obviously an option. <laughs> Mirror mode, no thank you. Watch out here. There's a massive shortcut on this track, but it's really difficult. Okay. Ah, uh, both items. Just gonna go wide. Play it safe. Gotta love all this custom music too. It's really a treat. This is one of the best remakes of all the Wii U tracks. It's like pretty much perfect. I think it would be cool if they had like item boxes on the left where the ramp is, where, where there's usually coins. I think that would be a really nice addition because right now there's no point to taking that ramp. So you could burn a mushroom to get an item. I'm try again with the res. I don't think this is going to connect. Ah, it's so slidey here. It's a good spot for a fake item box. My red did not connect. Looks like he got target shocked. Wow, we actually have a pretty big breakaway from third right now. This is a great spot to be. I just need to not get back spammed. There's a massive gap between second and third. I don't know what happened to everyone else. Okay, I got the mushroom. Oh, I was gonna say I could go for shortcut, but we have to pull another one now. The problem with the shortcut, sometimes you don't get the lap count, so it'd be super risky to go for it. Gotta watch out for here, the slidey section. Yeah, he's land traps. Oh, had to cancel my drift. There's a blue shell. I was just about to say, how was there no blue shell for this entire time? Luck is on my side today, oh my gosh. All right. Probably the most peaceful race of the day, not expected on Bone Dry Dunes, incredible. Uh, yo, we got Tails the Fox one year membership. Thank you so much. One year, let's go. I remember I subbed when you had 270K. Proud to see you almost at 500K, hopefully a million soon. I think we need a new Mario Kart for that. Uh, for Retro Rewind, should I get a Wii U or a Wii? You could play it on emulator or Wii or Wii U. The best thing about playing it on console is you can use the auto updater. Otherwise, if you're, you know, if you're playing on Dolphin, you have to be part of ZPL's Discord and then you can just get the updates manually. And it doesn't take that long, but it's really convenient having the updater. I think it's a huge difference maker in general just once once this uh, mod got the updater i've seen the activity spike like it's it's really started to get a lot more traction and there's a lot of updates there's almost too many updates it's it's really funny so it's, it's a good problem to have <laughs> all right we're going for it we're failing it there goes my leap Nice thing about the shortcut. Oh, oh! I was about to say. Nice thing about the shortcut. You don't really lose too much time if you fail it. Now we're in the back. One cool feature to add would be to force everyone on a transmission, like force everyone on inside or outside drift. That would be really interesting. Especially because, like, it would make if bikes were forced on outside drift, like even like a flame runner on outside drift, then all of a sudden, like maybe the best vehicle becomes a cart for heavyweights or for lightweights. People wouldn't be using the bullet bike if it was. Um, oh gosh, I'm gonna get hit here. I'm be so careful. But yeah, like right now, the transmission only works on your game. It doesn't work on everyone's. So you can pick whatever transmission you want, but you can't like host a room and choose the transmission. Okay, I'm getting, this is more the Mario Kart experience I'm used to having right now. Just getting decimated. Oh, we actually got the box. It's actually a really close pack. I'm not really in that bad of a spot, despite how brutal this race has been. Okay, 
Okay. Got the ending strat. And I just hit Edwin. Let's go. Oh, one of my reds just got hit by the bullet bill, I think. Just gonna go get a box. I'm chaining a million items here. This is fun. Oh, I was about to be in first. Oh, well now I'm in a lot of trouble. I'm not gonna be able to get the item. It's gonna all come down to the last box here. Oh, I actually got a mushroom. I had to do everything to dodge that red shell. I cannot believe that worked. I was like 90% sure I was getting redded off the edge right there. Let's go. Incredible GP. I still can't believe I got fourth that race. I got hit like a million times. No business getting fourth right there. Uh, let me go back here. Tails of the Fox, thank you so much for the one year. We had Kiwi opening up the stream with a $50 donation. Thank you so much. If you guys want to donate and suggest like uh, GP, like uh, if you want to donate and be like, everyone on, you know, carts, lightweights only, 200cc, you can do that and I'll, I'll make it happen. Because uh, we're going to be playing a lot of GPs today and then hopefully some worldwides at the end. This. This track right here is one of my least favorites. Not because the remake isn't good, it's actually a really solid remake. I tried to get the Thundercloud. Um, it's just super overscaled. It feels like I'm playing 50cc when I play this track. It needs to be scaled down like 20% or something like that. It would be cool if we had the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe version of this track as well, where it utilizes the train track for part of the level. That would be awesome. Snipe. I'm going to try to go for a side snipe here. That's a great pull. Got to watch out for ZPL. I'm just going to start spamming this. Oh, that actually kind of worked. Let's go. Just barely made it. I hit a little bit of off-road, but we'll take it. <laughs> this is evil. Sorry, Edwin. See, I'm in first right now, but I don't feel anything. I feel like I have just the same amount of chance of winning as like the person in last. And that is Calamari Desert. I'm just gonna wait here. Are you kidding? I'm just gonna wait. Yes! Oh, it worked. My strategy worked perfect. I braked to get a better item and I pulled a mushroom from it. That was incredible. I still cannot believe that just happened. I cannot believe how this GP has went. This is insane. I can't do any wrong with this GP. Every, everything's just working out so well. All right. I think we got one more track still. Oh no, that was the end. Yeah, best GP ever. I was one point off 98 too. That, that was unbelievable, seriously. Like, <laughs> that, that strategy on lap three, that like, worked to perfection right there. All right, that is the Mario Raceway of the retro tracks. It's even more luck-based than Mario Raceway, honestly. If that's possible. <laughs> R.I.P. Edwin. <laughs> Edwin took one for the team right there. All right, we got, let's see, we got 10 in the room. Let's wait until it gets to 12. And thank you, Sam Cario, for five months. Let's go, another stream, TWDH, you made my day, Troy. Let's go, thank you so much, Sam Cario. Great to see you here. 
It's always nice seeing old faces. I'll throw a TWDH in the chat as well. I, there looks like there's like a new heart feature. There's all, there's all these hearts that keep flying up. I don't even know what that is. Okay. And then these like parade emojis, like confetti or something. ZPL, thank you for the one year. One year of membership from ZPL, thank you so much. You know, maybe I should, should I reset? Sometimes when no one joins, it means the room is locked. It says I'm offline, I am not offline. That is weird. I think WeemFi is broken. Let me let me try to reset WeemFi and see if that works. This usually gets things going again. Because when people don't join the room immediately, I know something is up. And people are in the chat are saying WeemFi is broken, I'm not showing up online. The link in the description is outdated. Might want to put the link a wiki link if possible. Okay, sounds good, ZPL. I will I will add it after the stream. Okay. Let's try again. Let's open another room. I don't think we're gonna do any better than that first GP. That was magical. Um, dodge multiple shocks in just eight races. Let's see. Let's force everyone on lightweights. And let's play Blast Blitz. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, what I was talking, I'm pretty sure for the transmission switch, this only works for your game. But it'd be really cool if you can make it so everyone was forced on a, trans a transmission. That would add another layer to the fun room excitement. Oh, it's filling up fast. Three, six, nine, eleven. One spot. Who's gonna get the last spot? And it is area, area 51. All right, should we do, we'll, we'll, we'll play another regular room right now and then we will start doing some team VS. I know people love the team VS. Check this out, this is freaky. Look at this, just seeing all those question marks there. Um. We're memeing. It's early, but we're memeing. Do not underestimate these inside drift carts, ladies and gentlemen. Do not un underestimate. <laughs> so, uh, Blast Blitz is uh, quite entertaining. I think that um, it's pretty close to like what you'd want from a game mode that is just pure chaos. Like, I, I feel like it definitely achieves its purpose of just being pure chaos, but the shroom mode I feel like needs a little more work. Uh-oh. I'm getting a black screen of death right now. I, I think it's gonna freeze on me. I feel like this always happens when I stream. There's always like a, some sort of freeze that happens. That's one reason I've been like not wanting to stream it too much. I feel like it freezes way more than any other mod. Like I'm just stuck right now. I don't know if I should reset my whole system or if I should just wait. I hear the music, but I don't see anything. Still stuck. <laughs> Does it say I'm still online on Wi-Fi? Let me check. You were disconnected, cool. Yeah, so. Would love to stream this more, but it clearly has some serious disconnection issues. I think that's the main thing holding the mod back is the stability of it is really questionable. So hopefully that gets worked out in the future. We'll try again. Yeah, we, we knew I was gonna reset like my whole console, but I heard the music still. So I was like, I think, I think it's okay. We'll, we'll try again, hopefully it works. I don't know why that happens. It happens way more than it should though. It happens almost every time I play. Like in the first few GPs, it just like freezes the whole room. And then sometimes what happens is the people in the room actually play a race, but I'm not in the race, even though I'm the host of the room. It's, it's really strange. No, I don't think it's a WeemFi issue. This never happens on other distributions. I think it's a Retro Rewind issue, uh, King Hawkster. 
Yeah, ZPL, it might. I, I think it is. I think it has to do with the fact that we're skipping all of the voting screens. I think that that mod has something wrong with it where the disconnections happen. But it, it's weird. It's not like it disconnects one person from the room. It actually disconnects the host, which feels super backwards. Like, that should never happen. All right. Oh, we got Cacti in the room. and looks like Patty made it in the last spot. Spy Kid is in here. Let, let's try this again. Let's try Lightweights, Blast Blitz. I want to... Um, Use dry bones, cheap charger. It's such a goofy game mode. It honestly doesn't really matter too much what you use. Oh yeah, guys, be sure to subscribe. We have over 600 people here and I guarantee at least a few of you are not subscribed to the channel. We're almost at 495K. We're making our way to 500K. And I will be back with more Mario Kart 8 Deluxe videos soon. There's going to be some good ones coming up. Don't want to spoil anything. Okay. The music stopped. Please load. There we go. Okay. I got scared for a second. That took a while. Whew. Oh my gosh, this is not going to be a good combo for this drag. Yeah, I have, I have one of the lightest lightweights, and I knew I was going to be getting bumped off a lot. So I bet a lot of you haven't seen this. This, this track got updated. It's got this crazy, like, upward spiral going on to mirror the loop in Mario Kart DS, which is great. We did not have the loop for the longest time, and that, that is a pretty great alternative. I have to say, I'm really impressed with that addition. And this is still like the the wavy road that we're used to driving. It's kind of similar to like Bowser Castle wavy road. Granted, you can get way more tricks off. It's, it's insane how busted that wa wavy road is. Oh, okay, we're getting blue shells. Purple lean turbo, you go 97.17 on the cheap charger. So in a purple MT, you just go barely faster than the flame runner while wheeling. That's really funny. I'm just gonna go super wide here. The purple, oh, major air. And I got the box. Just gonna keep checking blue shells. That's the thing, even though we're on such a slow combo, we are not out of it until the end. It's gonna be probably a pretty close race, all things considered. I feel like they always are on Blast Blitz. It's very difficult to break away in this game, but oh, I have to break, I was gonna fall off. KC is on the Quacker, love that. Just gonna throw this, okay, the Baby Luigi, Dry Bones, and Toad are really far up there, actually. That's not good. There's another blue shell. I'm hoping a couple of them get hit in the explosion. Box got stolen again. Do not have the best maneuverability here. I do really like how the railing, you just kind of like bounce off of it. Aw, my blue shell. Okay, we're gonna get the box here. Just have to go really wide. Oh, wow, I went so wide of the bullet, actually went around me, that's crazy. I can't get a box. This was a tough one for the cheap charger. I think I got eighth place. It says I got seventh though. If I got seventh, I'll take it. That was that was tough. I do not have high hopes for this GP, but I, it's not gonna get any harder than that track for the cheap charger. Okay, we actually did cheese out seventh over cheesy. Let's go. Keep randomizing. What do you guys think of the change? Instead of it just being a straight path, having that cool, like, helix thing. I, I, th I think he nailed it. I'm really impressed with it. If you're not going to have a loop, I'd say that's the next best thing. 
So a donut replaces the loop-de-loop -loop and wavy road replaces the corkscrew. Clever idea, track creator, if you're in the chat. Zane, he's not only in the chat, I think he might be in the room. He was in the last room, at least. All right, and now we have Choco Island 1, I believe. Now, last time I played this track, it did not have respawns. I'm not kidding. If you fall off on the left, it respawns you at... Ouch. Where's my star? There it is. Oh! Oh! Ouch. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> Only three laps. Oh my gosh, I need to catch up quick. Um, but yeah, you, if you fall off, it respawns you, like, right here and you won't get the lap count it's it's the biggest issue in the whole mod i'd say of any track i'm surprised this one even made it in retro rewind considering that it has such a big issue i hope it gets fixed it might be fixed by now like i played it like a week ago and there was no respawn points so we'll, we'll see granted you don't fall off like too often on this track but if you do you're screwed i'm so far away from everyone this cheap charger idea is proving to not be the greatest strategy I've had. If I dodge, I can get like fifth though. Not bad, I'll, I'll take sixth place. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> this is so goofy right now. This is a private room, unfortunately. Well, it is an open host code, so actually anyone can join this room. Let's see, we were on Gayatan Payo. No idea how to pronounce your name. Totally butchered it. Thank you for the new membership. I appreciate it. Always great to have new people join in. Let's see here, Casey in first, Edwin in second. Oh no, they're tied. Okay, Grantworth, Cacti, Brody, all tied. Pretty close GP here, as expected with Blast Blitz. The real strategy is bullet bike. <laughs> yeah, de def I think bullet bike is the way to go. But we shall show the memes for now. All right, uh, let's see. We were on Meta13. Thank you for the $5 donation. A bit late to the April Fool's recommendation, but next year you should do Kirby Canvas Curse live stream. The final boss is legit terrifying. I've actually beaten that game. I've 100 percent of that game. And it was actually, yeah, it was pretty difficult at the end. So I, I remember I was very young when I played that. I was probably in middle school or something. So, yeah. Oh, I can't do anything on this vehicle. But yeah, Kirby Canvas Curse. Really underrated game. Super fun. It's a pretty good April Fool's recommendation. I honestly forgot it was even April Fool's Day. I had no idea until like, it was like 3 p.m. and then I realized it was April Fool's Day and I was like, oh, I haven't got April Fool's yet. And then I was just hyper aware the rest of the day. Wow, the Koopa is so far up there. No one's catching them. Oh, never mind, there's a blue shell. <laughs> the thing is though, you can pull such good items in first on this mod. Okay, so Koopa did get hit by the blue, and there's two more blues coming, so I think this is going to be a close one. No! I cannot hit item boxes on this vehicle. Gotta get one. Oh, Cheesy stole all of them! Are you kidding? Can't get up top. There's item boxes down here, thankfully. It only goes like 92 on an orange major road. That is sad. This vehicle has got to be bottom five in the whole game or something. Uh, well, I was in first with the cheap charger. It was fun while it lasted. Oh, I was about to get the purple. We need an item box so bad right now. That's not gonna do much. You pull bombs in this game mode a lot when you don't want them. Are you kidding me right now? I didn't even know the fishes could hit you.
Well, this one's over. I get a bomb in 10th? Are you kidding? What a joke. Oh, that was so stupid. Why am I pulling a bomb in 10th? All right. I think this game mode gives way too many bombs. It needs to give more speed items. There's already enough bombs. You should not ever be pulling a bomb in 10th. It should be golden, stars, fun items. That's crazy. I thought that I could just use any vehicle on this game mode and it was gonna be more like Blue Shell Showdown, but not quite the case so far. Also, we just got a repeat. I'm pretty sure ZPL told me that the tracks can't repeat for at least eight races. So I don't know why we're getting a repeat right now after just two races. I have no idea what's going on. Running into lots of problems today. All right, the top tiers are breaking away again. Common theme in this room right now. The top of lightweight tiers. Blue shell, another bomb. If I pull a bomb in ninth, see, even pulling a blue shell in ninth is painful. You should be pulling blue shells in second, in third. I can't catch up like this. <laughs> I'm just, I'm hopeless right now. I'm literally hopeless. Okay, I have no idea what I would have got there. I might have to start picking the tracks if it's gonna repeat like this, though. Mushroom. There we go. I somehow got sixth, seventh place. All right. Yeah. This game mode needs a lot of balancing. That's how I feel after this. The first time I played it, I was like, oh, it's pretty good. But now playing it, it feels impossible to come back when you're pulling blue shells and bombs in the middle spots. Let's pick short tracks, get this over with. I'm over Blast Blitz. I think it's got serious issues. Lots of potential, but the item distribution like doesn't make any sense on the bomb spots. Uh, let's see here. Jeremy the Gamer, brand new membership. Thank you, Jeremy. Let's go. Quite a few brand new members already showing up. Appreciate it. Some resubs as well. Thank you. Uh, do people call them memberships on YouTube? Do people, what do they call it? I, I don't know. I'm saying membership just sounds so weird. I'm so used to saying subscribe, but subscribe is something totally different on YouTube and Twitch. It's all very confusing. Why can't these websites just use the same terminology? That was a good bomb, whoever threw that. Wide. Okay. That's great. I'm chaining this for sure. Maybe I'll dodge? That's that's what I need to get a top spot in this race. My goal right now is getting first with the cheap charger. That's all I care about. Just one race. Just let me have one race. Go, go, go. This is mine. Let's go. Let's go. I need to hold this. What? Oh, you could pull that in first? There's a blue shell. There's a blue. It's just not gonna matter. Wow, I'm getting second. I will take second, that's fine. You can pull a mega thundercloud in first. That is so busted, that, that's unfair. That is ridiculous. I think mushrooms like totally make sense for first. Like even triple mushrooms, like occasionally. Mega thundercloud, that is busted. All right, let's pick another short track. 
JD Brox, what is up? Roxy, how's it going? Karma for the TC. <laughs> this is a mildly scary game mode. It is terrifying game mode if you're in the back. It feels almost impossible to catch up. Knowing that first place pulls better items than 10th place, this game mode has some serious balance issues from my experience with it so far. I like the potential it has, but I don't understand first place getting Mega Thunderclouds and 10th place pulling bombs. Like, you should not be pulling blues or bombs in the bomb spots. You should be pulling speed items. I can't see anything on this track. I just have a very dark monitor. I, I feel like it just doesn't handle darker colors well. Like, it, it probably looks fine on capture card, but playing it right now, it's just complete blackness. Like, I can't actually see where the gap is when I take the shortcut right here. Like, it's just, it's all the same. I know there's a gap, but I can't actually see it on my screen. It's crazy. Am I really in first right now? I'm so confused on this GP. Nothing makes sense. I might as well chain. Maybe I'll get triple. Cool. This one's five laps now, which is so much better. The race would be over right now, but that would be pretty unfair. There's no blue shells. I don't get what's going on. I'm just waiting for it. I know there's going to be a blue shell brigade any second. I do not feel safe. I want that. That's fine. At least I'm not getting blue now. I think this might hit. No, Casey's dodging everything. Second place again. This is such a silly game mode. I see what's happening. The players in the front are just pulling the speed items and the players in the middle are pulling bombs and they're all hitting each other. And then the people in the front just get a huge breakaway. Like, I should not be getting second back-to-back -back races with the Cheap Charger just front running. This is so hilarious. Okay, I think Brody's got this one locked up. I think we do have another race though. All right, let's, let's play this one. Yeah, I know, and the shortcut is so busted because I did it like every single lap. So ridiculous. This game mode has potential though. Like it has potential. It's just, a, it, it's a bit silly right now. It doesn't make much sense. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I was trying so hard not to get bumped into that. I should have just braked, honestly. Now, the one thing about inside drift with the carts is you have a really bad drift radius. So you have to be careful, because this is like maximum drift right now. It doesn't look like it, but that is actually what maximum drift looks like. This is the tightest I can possibly drift. Like, I can't even get that eye box over there. Let's see how purple nature will. Okay, another purple. Nice. Combo of blue, we still have purple boost. Just lost it. Oh, Shroomless! I'm using it. That was an amazing bullet. Uh-oh. Something happened that usually doesn't happen. I actually drifted too tight with the inside drift cart. Let's go wide. That's so good. This should get me to the finish line, I think. I don't know how many spots in the game. Probably sixth place? 
All right, I'll take it. Not bad, not bad. We're making the cheap charger work on this ridiculous game mode. I think that's the end. We're done with Blast Blitz. 48, let's see who took it home. And Brody, oh no, there's one more track, never mind. Okay, let's play, hmm. Let's play uh, Tokyo Blur. That's a short one. Or am I gonna be doing Retro Rewind Worldwides? Yeah, I'm gonna play like probably like two more GPs of Fun Rooms and then I'll hop into Worldwides. <laughs> Either second or sixth, no in between. Literally, every single placement, every single race, that, that's all I'm capable of getting. Tried to get the purple, failed. Getting decimated. This one's gonna be over so quick, so I can't be falling behind. Get away from me! There's nowhere that's safe. There's absolutely nowhere. I don't know how I feel about a golden. Wow, do I seriously still have a purple? I guess. Does the purple prolong if you're using a mushroom? I think I connected that bomb. We need this item. No, I got a blue shell in eighth. Are you kidding? Ah. Eighth place. See, the blue shell should be for second, third, fourth, fifth, like all the spots up there. Like the, the, the bottom placements should be getting the speed items. The player in first should be able to get mainly mushrooms. The players in two through five, they should get the blue shells. That would make sense. And look at the ending result. Casey Edwin almost caught Brody, but Brody takes it home. See, when everyone is on lightweights, Brody is secretly the greatest of all time, even though we see Brody having to struggle using the Magic Cruiser in the knockout tournaments. He takes it home in the lightweight Blast Blitz <laughs> tournament, eight race FFA. Congrats to Brody. Okay, uh, let's see, we're just changing this. Should we do random items? I, I think we should do random, <laughs> we should do random items team VS. That would be funny. Okay, I'm just gonna let the teams randomize. This, should be entertaining. Random items, Team VS. There could be multiple blue shells in play. This is gonna be absolute madness. We'll use Mock Bike. We're mixing it up, we're having some fun. We already used Flame Runner earlier. All right, let me get back to the donos. I'm falling behind, so sorry guys. Um, Patty says, a $5 donation from Patty. My batteries died on the vehicle select screen, so I'm stuck tryharding it on the baby booster. Prepare to get owned, guys. Well, you know what, Patty? I was right with you there on the cheap charger. That was very entertaining. And we, we tried our best, you know. Overall, actually a pretty good GP, all things considered. Just a tea leaf with a $10 donation. Hey, Troy! Found your channel a few weeks ago and just wanted to let you know your content has been helping me calm down with my anxiety issues. Keep up the great work. Thank you so much, tea leaf, for the donation and I appreciate the message, I'm really glad it's helping and I hope the stream helps as well. We're gonna be going for quite a while today. Uh, speaking of uh, disconnections though, from earlier, I think we're having the same issue here because uh, once again, I'm stuck on a black screen and yeah, I really was hoping to showcase this mod a little better today, but as you can see, um, it's still not quite working out. <laughs> Just freezing on me over and over. I am just gonna turn off, I, I sucks, but I'm just gonna have to turn off the host always wins vote feature. So we're gonna have to sit through all the loading screens and we have to wait two minutes between races. But I seriously don't even know what to do at this point. I think it's frozen. It's not even making any sounds anymore. Oh, it loaded, it loaded. Oh, that took forever. I was 100% sure we were screwed. Oh, but a lot of people disconnected. Uh-oh. I don't like, is, is, did my whole team disconnect? Oh no, I got Cheesy on my team. We got Cheesy. 
Is it a 5v3? Four people disconnected? I might just disconnect this room, honestly. We are not playing a 5v3 for eight races. That sounds like torture. It's a 5v3. <laughs> we'll play one race and I'll just disconnect myself. I cannot believe four people disconnected. I was surprised I didn't disconnect. This is a uphill battle if I've ever seen one right now. Very impossible for us to win this race. Get target shot. <laughs> 5v3s, ladies and gentlemen. I got Spy Kid and Cheesy on my team. I need like a Mega. A Banana. I'm so checked out of this race right now. This is the definition of going through the motions. <laughs> I just, just don't care at all. I pulled triple bananas. Sorry, Cheesy. That was a rage throw. <laughs> okay, I need the bullet. A fake item box! Oh, I got trolled this race. This was the most troll race of, of all time, just about. Yes. No! Spy Kid! Spy Kid destroyed me. Oh, well. All right, let me just disconnect myself. That was a painful experience. Streaming Mario Kart in 2024, ladies and gentlemen. Tough experience. Brutal start to the stream. The first GP was actually fire. And after that, this has been brutal. <laughs> I would love to stream this more. Like, I truly love this mod, but it clearly has some serious issues right now. I hope they get worked out. I'm gonna turn off host always wins vote. We're gonna try one more time. If, if we have more like issues like this, I might just have to end the stream early. All right, let's see here. Host always wins vote. We're gonna disable it. We are going to <laughs> play regular items. <laughs> I don't even wanna play with mods. Like I'm so afraid of this not working. Maybe if we just play regular Mario Kart, it'll work. Can you pick Animal Crossing? Yeah, yeah, I, I've host always wins vote off, so, you know, one in 12 shot, but I'll, I'll pick Animal Crossing. That's a good track. A lot of the Wii U tracks are actually really solid. We got Sven Elliot, 20 euro donation, thank you. Hey Troy, you made COVID doable. The lockdown was a whole new level with Mario Kart Wii. I searched on YouTube randomly how to do shortcuts in Mario Kart Wii, and that is how I found your channel. Let's go. I can imagine the, the video you found. It was probably the one titled like, uh, every shortcut you need to know in Mario Kart Wii or something like that. Sven, welcome. Thank you so much for the donation. I'm really happy that you made it to the stream and not only for donating, but also for uh, the new membership as well. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And yeah, I, I get that comment a lot actually. People say they binged my channel during COVID and I mean, I have, I don't even, I wonder how many hours total. If you watched every video on the channel, it would be like hundreds and hundreds of hours of Mario Kart <laughs> degeneracy. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate it. We have 12. Uh, 
Let's hope it works. I'm losing hope, guys. I'm really losing hope right now. Please work. I just want to play the game. I just want to play the game. This is a good sign. This is a good sign. We don't have a black screen of death right now. Hopefully no one disconnects. We shall see, we shall see. Oh my gosh, it worked. Look at this, beautiful. All right, let's see here. We have KC on our team. The other team has Cal. And those are the only other 9,000 players. You can actually randomize your combo um, between race, which is very interesting. That's a fun feature. And courtesy of Q Sahab, we're going Animal Crossing. We'll see if it gets chosen. And one thing that's nice though, it does skip the whole like bing, 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 choosing the track. That whole animation that takes like 15 seconds, it does skip that, which is nice. So it still doesn't take too long. So we'll just have to play it like this, considering the issues that Post Always Wins Vote is having. So this is working. No disconnections. This ran super fast. Very good sign. All right, we're red team. Okay. Close. Yes. I think I hit my team and Cal. <laughs> I can't believe I hit both people with the traps there. Bullet Bill, that's blue team. Blue team is two, three, four right now. That's a great pal, whoever used that. Wow, that really screwed me. Luckily, the shock saved me, though. If it wasn't for the shock, I would be in third place. Okay, so far, so good. We have 4-5 now, it looks like, which is good. We want to always go off to the left here on this track. Mario Kart Wii. Gotta be really careful. Ah! Uh, I'm not gonna get bumped off though. I'm good. I really hope that wasn't my own team. Just a note to anyone who joins the rooms, this is super important, but if you ever get a blue shell, look at the minimap and be sure not to blue shell your own team. In Flounderfest, we are already having so many issues with our own teammates bluing us, and you just never want to blue shell your own team. It's the worst thing you can do. Like, you gotta sacrifice the points to hold the blue shell in Clan War. We got destroyed in the first race. They took, I think, one, two, three, five. I don't know what happened to our team. Oh, and we got last. 25 to 48, absolute decimation. All right, there's seven races still, it's not over. We need to bounce back quick though. We need to pick the luck tracks. We're starting in bad spots. We do not want something like Toad's Factory or Moonview Highway to show up right now. Clan Wars still exists in 2024. Oh yeah. Future YS. I'm pretty sure there's still like 60 plus clans or something like that. So not only do they exist, but like I think it's like the main way people play. I'm gonna... Um, I'm gonna pick something goofy. Let's go... Toad Circuit. There's like literally like 10 divisions of competitive Mario Kart and there's six teams per division. 
there's literally like 60 plus clans there's there's hundreds of wars played every single week there's probably 20 plus wars played every day there's there's more clan wars played than there are worldwides played which um you know, it's it's a little unfortunate that the worldwide scene is so dead, but hopefully it comes back one day. You know, I think Retro Rewind could bring it back with the right decisions. So, we'll see, we'll see. That is a horrible item. Ah. This is not good. This track has no shortcuts, and they already have the top spots. Yes, go KC, go! Alright, we're catching him. We have top two! Don't give him a draft. I'm just gonna go wide. Uh, no! I was set up so nice right there with the mushroom in a second. Yes, our team. What the heck? Don't throw it back. Chaos. I don't even know where Cal came from, or maybe he was the one that used the shock. All right, let's see the damage here. Yeah, we won that one. Let's go, let's go. Amazing race. We are catching up only down 18 now. We take those. That was such a stressful race. I don't know how I didn't get hit by everything. I did a great job evading all the <laughs> various threads. Whew. Is this a members only stream? My uh, code is open host. I don't really advertise it too much. I mean, you could see it on the screen sometimes because we already have more than enough people that try to join the rooms and there's only 11 people that can, uh, that can get in. All right, let's see here. We have pretty good spots now, so I don't know. Honestly, I, I'm kind of down for whatever. I'll just randomize. I like like majority of the tracks in the distribution. There's very few I'm not crazy about, like Calamari Desert. Most of them I have a really fun time on. Oh guys, if you have CTGP, you can definitely get Retro Rewind. It's pretty much this, it's a very similar process. So if you were able to get CTGP, you'd have no problem getting this mod as well. And it also works on emulator. Oh, what a great texture. Look how beautiful it looks. Love the textures. I'm gonna try to front run this. I'm probably gonna be disappointed. We have top three right now. Never mind. We did have top three. Short lived. Oh no! I think our Carter in third place just got decimated by the POW. So whoever their team is, they just dodged in second place. I'm not kidding. This is over. How are they getting all the shocks? And I get hit immediately. Oh, it's so over. Honestly, considering how badly that could have gone with the shock, we still got pretty good spots. We might have actually won that race. Let's see the damage. Two, four, five. 
Okay, so we're down 25 now, but still not that bad. Uh, yeah, so if you play on emulator, you have to, there's like another process you have to do in order, you, you have to have like a working Wii or Wii U and you have to like extract the NAND and then from there you can play online on Dolphin versus people on console. It's really cool, but it's a little bit of a process. It's not something that you can do immediately. Like, um, like downloading Dolphin and Retro Rewind like wouldn't take long at all, but getting it to work online takes a little bit more. I, they do have tutorials on YouTube though. I'm pretty sure there's some good ones. Gamer Blue, I'm not sure. Uh, I, I'd imagine probably just one version of all the city tracks because I feel like if we had like three or four versions of all the city tracks, then it would really like oversaturate things and we'd be playing city tracks all the time and that would be kind of frustrating. So I'd imagine it's probably only gonna be one version of all the city tracks. That's my guess. Oh, I'm gonna get ready. Cal has triple reds in second. Seriously, I have triple shrimps in first right now. That's ridiculous. I'm just gonna use two. Get as far away as possible so I don't get redded. Seems to be working pretty well. I'm just gonna hold this. We have second right now, so this is looking really good. And what I'll do is if I'm still in first at the line and we still have second, I'm gonna break on the line so they don't blue shell second. Looks like that's gonna be the play here. Yeah, we have top three, I'm just gonna break. We got top two, but they got three, four, five, six. So we got one, two. Oh my gosh, we got one, two, eight, nine, ten. We lost the race by one. 30 to 31. No, 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 we got 127. Oh, no, we're chilling. Okay. No, we got 127. I forgot. It's, it's 6v6, not 5, 5v5. I'm so used to playing 5v5s. All right, so we got 35. We still lost the race, but we're only down 28. It's not over, but oh, this is going to be tough. <sighs> Bottom three. We need, we need a top four or something right now, and then we'll be back in it. You can win a race by over 40 points, but you need like a top five or a top six. So it's not over. Whoever used that shock though, thank you. Cause that made the race a lot easier for me. I could not believe I had triple mushrooms in first. The CTGP version of this track is so scaled up. The Cheap Cheap Island on CTGP is really fun on item rain. I think it's a great item rain track, but otherwise this version is definitely more fun for like regular racing. Question for the chat, for everyone who plays Clan Wars, what do you prefer, 5v5s or 6v6s? The age old question. In Japan, they always play 6v6, but I feel like here, like America and in Europe, Australia, I feel like it's mainly 5v5s. Well, in Australia, they also like playing 6v6 more because they play with Japanese people a lot because of the time zones. This is a great track. I'm super stoked for this one. This is gonna be anything can happen. Hopefully it works to our advantage stupidest track. Gotta love it. Great item pull. We just need a blue shell.
right through him. Go for the snipe. Okay, I think he is like way further ahead than it shows. I feel like there's a lot of lag there. I probably gotta throw things like four bike links up in front of where he where he actually is on the racetrack. All right, so blue team dodge. They have all the top spots. It's looking really grim for us. And target powered after the box. I got. I need like a golden. That's really. Are you kidding me right now? I don't think we got a blue shell. That's going for my own teammate. Okay, good thing they dodged it. We got destroyed. It's over. The, they got the shock and like three of them dodged and they had top four. I think they top fived us. Yeah. <laughs> this is so over. I actually have the most points, so we take those. Let's see here. Swaggerilla with the two uh, pound donation. Yo, Troy, you're the best for reals. Love your content. Thank you so much, Swaggerilla. I love your username. It is insane. Never seen a Swaggerilla online before. We have Pidjo O with the five pound donation. I feel like I've not got a single name right today, but how am I? It's, it's P-I-G with 12 O's with a bunch of apostrophes. Interesting username. Uh, hey, Otroy, how, how, it says, hope you're doing well. What times are you doing? What time are you doing the vehicle clean work and how long are they gonna run for? Honestly, Nick works full time. So we literally just do it when we can. Sometimes it'll literally be 10 p.m. PST. So like one in the morning EST. Um, he has very little free time. We just are gonna have to try to find that one time a week where he has time after work where he can make it happen and it'll never be consistent. It'll just be whenever he can make it happen because he works full time and that's 40 plus hours a week. And then we have very little time to record. Oh. That's really unfortunate. They have all the top spots again. Even though it's over, I still, you know, we still gotta try our hardest. Gotta make it close. Gotta make it interesting for you guys. Red shell. I'm curious, is is Cal like a competitive D1 player or something? Because we have some players join our rooms who like are top level custom track players. They're top level like like world record holders. Like we, we have Zilla join the rooms and Echo as well. And I feel like he literally outscores everyone I've ever played against, and I've never heard of him before. I'm guessing he's a competitive, like, D1 player or something. Let me know in the chat. I'm curious. Look at that. Just blocked the shortcut on me. They have top two by a mile right now. This funky Kong is just gone. That was the sequence. My own teammate just hit KC. Come on, guys.
T1 RT. I don't even know what T tier tier one. I'm guessing tier one. That would make sense. You can tell when you're playing against competitive players. It's so different. They they like play way more alert. Like right there, uh, he uh, he blocked the shortcut on me and then he swerved away. Like normally you're never gonna deal with that. But when you play like competitive lounge, that's what everyone does. People will, they will do a trick and they will flick a fake item box backwards on you. They will throw green shells off the walls so they go faster on the way back. There's all these things that people do competitively that are like really hardcore and like me like pretty much playing casual all the time. Like I'm definitely not ready for it. And then it, it happens and then I have to be like, oh, I have to play like way more alert now. They can't really like, just go like through the motions like playing against these people they will hit you with things very unexpectedly he does not play lounge that is very surprising he definitely plays like a lounge player that's very surprising he doesn't play lounge I thought he was like a smurf account. I was like, this person who scores higher than anyone I've ever played against, and I've never heard of them. They're probably someone in disguise, like a secret license. That, that's what I thought, but I guess it's someone who is really good, who doesn't play competitive, who nobody knows. Very mysterious. Interesting that he doesn't play CTGP, but he plays Lounge, or he plays Midnight and Retro Rewind. I wonder why. I'm just gonna break and hit Snickers. Hmm, I don't know when to use it. Okay, well, I guess I'm not gonna have the opportunity. I was like, I'm gonna hold this for the shortcut. I, I wanna go for shortcut next level, I get mushrooms. I could do it with one mushroom, it's kinda hard, but I, I might try it. Let's try to red Austin. Oh! Thank you, Ruben. Beautiful. Where's Snickers go? I'm trying to green Snickers. Yes, let's go! I'm just gonna hold this item, this is great. They have two, three, four, five, we're, we're so done. I'm, every time I'm first I get blue shell by them, we never like are able to hold the blue shell for me. Oh my gosh, they have top five. This is silly. Why can't we pull the blue shells? I'm gonna go for shortcut. The thing is, he changed this ramp, so I'm not really sure how to do it now. Oh, I got it. Let's go. That was amazing. I love how I get the shortcut and I'm only an eighth. Jeez. <laughs> and then our team doesn't pull the blue shell? It's so weird. That was just a weird war. They pull all the blues and most of the shocks and just decimate us. Okay, that's the end, I think. There's another race?
put me out of my misery with this. Oh my gosh. This has been over for so long. We're gonna lose by literally 100 points. <laughs> it is not worth spamming just to get the streamer to notice. A lot of times it only makes them ignore the message. You know, Phantom, you are definitely correct on that. If I see the same message over and over, I just skim to the next one. Let's see here. We were on... Act Ishikawa with the two two different donations totaling uh, 15 pounds. First message, good luck with the stream, Tro Troy. Remember that the Phantom is the best vehicle in Mario Kart Wii. I saw on April Fool's, Act Ishikawa uploaded a video, Road to 99 with the Phantom. Made me laugh because it is impossible to get nines with the Phantom. It cannot be done. Not today. Never. I mean, even, even getting 9,000 with the Phantom would be quite the feat. Axe says, binging channels. I remember the Troy Twitch days. Oh, how we are all so young back then. The Troy Twitch days. That's funny. Thank you so much, Axe, for the $15. Oh, okay. This track. Oh, almost got it. I didn't get the wheelie out. You can uh, skip the off-road entirely doing that strat. This is another track I really can't see it that well on this monitor. It is very dark. Like, I can't see anything when I go for shortcut. <laughs> that was funny. I can't see where it is. There it is. Okay. Gotta not hit my teammate. <laughs> okay, thank you, blue team. Blue team shock again. Oh my god, I can't see anything. I, I literally can't see it. It's, it's hard to explain to you guys, but it's so dark that I, I can't even see the shortcut. It's so frustrating. Maybe I'll take a picture and I'll show you guys what it's, what it's like. It's so brutal. I, I almost can't see any of the walls either. It's just like black. Like when I go for shortcut, like I can't see the wall, I can't see the ramp, the the ground, the out of bounds blends in with it. I'm just guessing, completely guessing. All right, that's the end. That was very anticlimactic. I'm sorry, guys. I did not expect them to pull all the shocks though. We did get one on Cheap Cheap Island. That was nice. I think I'm just gonna hop in a worldwide. Let, let's see if there's any worldwides going. If I play on Dolphin, then I get stutter frames. I think it's my computer, potentially. Nick says he has the same problem though, so, and he has a better computer. Um, but like, if I record and I play Dolphin, Offline, it's not really an issue, but when I play it online, I notice the stutter frames and I think it's just my computer having to do too much work Recording and playing dolphin simultaneously. I don't know, but it feels like it just stutters sometimes and it's frustrating But yeah, I don't know what to do about these dark tracks. It's really tough for me to to play them It's been an issue on CTGP. It's an issue on retro rewind. It's like I can't even see the tracks <laughs> Like, it looks fine on the recording though. Like, for you guys, it looks completely normal, but for me, it's just completely black. I'm, I'm just playing, like, almost like an invisible track. I mean, KC, it could be settings, because Nick has, like, a $3,000 computer, and he still has the same issue I have. So, I, I think it could be something that we just don't know about the settings. Consumify, I have it on max brightness. 
I literally have it on max brightness and I still can't see it. But I obviously, like if I look at the recording, it'll look normal. And if I play on Dolphin, it looks normal. But when I play on console with this, uh, I have an Asus monitor, I, I just, the dark tracks are so hard to see. Like any like Boo Lake, Ghost Valley, like I'm just guessing the whole time on where to go. Yeah, KC, that would be great. I mean, I'd love to try it out and see if it, if it works. I would, I would definitely play on Dolphin, like, if it was the way to go, like, if it was easier. Okay, I'm trying to join a worldwide, and usually if other people are trying to join too, it would just match us up, so I don't know. Can't match with anyone right now. Yeah, I don't know. I have another monitor, but... It has like a little input lag, which I don't like. This monitor has zero input lag, it's amazing. Okay, I think this is a retro rewind thing because I'm gonna have to reset Wing 5 and see if it works. I don't know what's going on. I feel like, I feel like everything has just been not working today. <laughs> Hopefully I can get in a room now. But people were saying that my room was still open and I closed it like five minutes ago. Yeah, I don't know guys. I've I've tried I've tried everything with the settings. Like I've literally went through every single option and I've toggled with all with all of them and I was never able to fix this issue. It's, this this issue has been around for like five years, but usually there's only a couple dark tracks So it's just I just take the L on the dark tracks <laughs> It's not like I play competitive Mario Kart anyway, so it's not really too much of an issue uh, Let's see here Kavi. Thank you for the five month membership There might be color drivers ICC profiles online available for your monitor to fix the brightness issue. I Do not know how to do that, but I'll look into it. That's interesting. I'll, I'll, I'll save this message. Now it's telling me to check my pack version, which is really weird. Okay, I got in a room. That was so strange. It told me to check my pack version, but I have the newest version, so that makes no sense. Hey, it's working. I could look at my recording for the darker tracks. <laughs> that would be really funny. Just like full screen my recording and look at my computer. <laughs> I, I could do that, I guess. It would be really funny because I have myself on the bottom right corner. So I would also be seeing myself like taking over a little part of the mini-map. Oh my god. Alright, we're chilling. We got in a room. Let's go. Let's see, uh, Kavi, thank you for the five months. We also have Roman with the $5 donation. Troy, huge fan, watching every vid since 2018. Love your content, especially 200cc, and I don't even play Mario Kart Wii. Thanks so much. <laughs> That's really cool. I, it's always interesting to hear about people that don't even play the game that watch the videos. Thank you so much, Roman. And uh, definitely we'll do more 200cc. 200cc is really fun, very chaotic, difficult, and it's pretty front run oriented, but there's so many cool shortcuts on 200cc, that's one of my favorite things about it. And brake drifting really saves it. Seriously, just pull the mushroom. Wow. Yeah. 
Just gotta hold this as long as possible. Whoa, that was weird. Such a weird bounce. Nice. Perfect. Perfect timing. I'm gonna get redded if I don't. Yes, I dodged it. Let's go. Oh, I connected the green on second. Oh, that's incredible. I have a pretty big lead now. I'm not going to even go for the box. I'm just going to take the better line. Another one. Got him. I had to make sure I laid that thick item box. That was the most important part. I was like, if I lay this inside, they're gonna have to take such an awkward line. Even if they're on mock bike, they're not gonna catch me. And it paid off. That was a great race. What a beautiful track. One of the most front run oriented tracks, which is interesting. It's a super long track, but 100% front run base. Oh, we got a full room just like that. Let's go. <laughs> MC4 was like, they wanted to have another track, so they mirrored MC3. MC4 is like the least inspired track they've almost ever had. <laughs> MC4 is hilarious. I think it's actually pretty good in Retro Rewind though. Uh, Saviero Giuffre, thank you for the uh, one euro donation. I appreciate it. I missed that one. And we have, let's see here, Grad198 with the $5. Hey Troy, I've been watching you for a while. I've been wondering how to join if possible. Thanks. So I have my friend code as open host, so anyone can join. You just add the code, make sure you got Retro Rewind, of course, and you're good to go. And I also use this code on CTGP sometimes. Although I, I use other codes for that as well. Yeah, Phantom, this room is completely full. So I, I don't see anyone leaving for a little while too. Usually when like streamer rooms fill up, they just stay full the whole time. See, this one's easy. The only the only part of this track that visually is hard for me with this monitor is the shortcut. But the gap on the shortcut is so small, like you almost can't fail it. So it's not really an issue too much. <laughs> See, it's right there. Like I, I I have no problem with this one. Oh, those are some good throws. Bam, pow dodge, let's go. This is about two more laps, oh my gosh. Aww. Second, third did not do shortcut, okay. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, perfect. I'm not gonna win, but I should get second. Second? 
Yes, I think so. That was so close. Casey almost passed me on the line. I timed that perfectly with the blue shell. Let's go. Only plus 21 per second. Oh, it's tough to get to nines now. Let's go. The VR system is interesting now. I think it's pretty good. Like it's, it's harder than it is in base game, but it's not too difficult. Like it's not impossible. It's definitely like a real challenge to hit nines on Retro Rewind. Definitely a good challenge to uh, try to take on for sure. Oh really, Sea of Pixels? I didn't know that. Isn't something, can't you just um like enable the option for the custom music for Retro Rewind in the settings? Like isn't it just something that you enable there? I thought the music comes with Retro Rewind when you download it. I don't know. But I didn't I didn't realize that his perspective didn't have the, the music. Cause yeah, the music is actually like so clutch. You know, the problem is like, even if you have custom music on CTGP, like you only have your 32 or whatever music tracks. So you get the same ones for a lot of the custom tracks. While here it's like every single track you add different music, which is so cool. Yo, Phantom, don't worry about it. There's always next stream. So don't lose hope. Just cause you didn't get in this one doesn't mean there won't be more. This is one of the best retro tracks. I love this one. Oh. Dodge that by a hair. We got Mind Reader in here. Edwin's back. KC's back in this room. We got some of the people from the, the war in the fun rooms earlier. Some new people I haven't raced against today. Just got wrecked. Ooh. Not good. Gonna get box. That's good. Yes. I'll just use it. There used to be a shortcut where you can uh, clip through the fence right there, but I don't think it counts the lap anymore. So I'm not gonna risk it. But it was actually pretty easy to do. Ah! Totally didn't realize the wall was shaped like that. I thought I could just curve in at the end. Gotta have to remember that now. Nice. And the patch also got a mega. Oh no! Why couldn't that shock happen like half a second later? Well, I don't get anything from the dodge now. I, I gained probably a second or two instead of gaining like six seconds. What a throw. GG's on that one. Off the wall, pinpoint. That was crazy. All right, what are you gonna do? Lachlan, you were asking me and I have not played competitive Mario Kart like in a league in like 13 years. So I have absolutely no idea. But if I had to guess, I'm gonna guess it's probably Frozen. Um, I, I think, who's the number one custom track player? Is it Zilla? I don't know. 
for time trials, it's definitely Logan. So I gave you three names. That's that's my that's my guess. I'm not sure though. I don't I don't follow it at all. So I'm not familiar with who like the best teams are and like who's like the top of the ladder or anything like that. Let's see here. We probably are gonna start randomizing some combos. So if you have any suggestions in the chat, I'll also do some some viewer suggested combos. Oh yeah, Roxy. Uh, Pepe is also uh, ex Luna in the knockouts. He's extremely good. He he's definitely up there. I forgot about him. There's a lot of good players. It's hard to keep track of them all. This track is fixed now. This ramp is so much better. It no longer shoots you up a million miles in the air. It's a great change to this track. I really like this track now. Oh, I'm done. Yep. Okay, so I want to try the shortcut. It's right here on the right, but I need a mushroom for it. So hopefully next lap we have one. But yeah, this ramp is so much better now. Nice trap, and I secured the mushroom. I'm gonna go for it. Oh, I got it. Let's go. Oh. Amazed I was not wanting to go for that because I had a mushroom first I should be smart and save it for a blue shell, but now it's about the same and The good thing is I mean if I held the mushroom it can always get powered or shocked out of me. So now I got the lead oh, Fail okay, I need to not hit the crab here That was amazing. I'm so glad I got the shortcut. It was really risky going for that. It's not free at all. Like I fail it probably half the time. But getting the shortcut and then also landing where the flip trick ramp is and the shortcut is actually a lot better now. Now the track has changed and that flip trick ramp doesn't shoot you a million miles in the air. It's actually even faster than it used to be. That was amazing. Oh my gosh, are you serious? ZPL with the $100 donation, what? What, dude? Oh, ZPL. He says Funky Kong Jet Setter. Dude, ZPL, wow. All right, all right. The man has spoken, but the question is automatic or manual? He did not specify. I'm gonna go automatic. I never use automatic, as you guys know. I was thinking we should do an automatic knockout tournament because I've never like used automatic almost at all in my life, and that would be really funny. But uh, ZPL, the, the chat reaction, the pop off from the chat. Let's go. Thank you so much, man. That was completely unexpected. We had a $50 donation earlier from Kiwi, and then we get $100 from ZPL. I mean, thank you, man. Seriously. I cannot wait to see future game modes and additions to Retro Rewind. This mod has really caught my attention in the last year, more than any mod in a very long time. All right. 
Okay, wow, this is actually pretty good on automatic. This is way more viable than I expected. I'm not saying it's amazing, but like we're we're making it work here. It's so funny, it's like the fastest vehicle in the game, but like you don't really go that fast at all, like on automatic. I mean you can't get main turbos, like main turbo sucks on this thing anyway. You only go 86 when you're driving normally. This is so funny. I somehow am making it work. I don't know what Nintendo was thinking when they made cards and they're like, oh, like bikes get a 10% speed boost just by clicking one button instantly. And cards have n just orange meter rolls, which are nowhere near as good. The balance in this game never ceases to amaze me. I'll try Inside Drift Jet Setter next. We definitely gotta give the Jet Setter a handful of races here, considering ZPL's extremely generous donation. Oh! I am wreaking havoc on the race course right now. I might not win, but I have made this race entertaining. Got the item. We're still in it. We're still in it. I need to hold this. I'm gonna use it now and do a shortcut. Oh. Well, that sucks. I didn't even get the item. I totally underestimated how slow I was gonna go right there. Totally messed that up. I need this item. <laughs> I dodged the pallet, that was pretty cool. I am so screwed. Oh. I tried. I don't know what I'm doing on automatic jet setter. I tried. There goes all my VR. We'll try again. We're doing inside drift now. Yeah, it's funny. Statistically, the Jet Setter is the fastest vehicle in the game. It's just it's just funny though that the Magikuzer wheeling goes faster than the Jet Setter. That's why it's hilarious. We got uh, a classic stream member here. We got Poop Butt with the one year donation. <laughs> Thank you so much. I've had to say Poop Butt 12 times now. 13 if you count right there. And he says, one year baby with a bunch of dollar sign emojis. I love that, thank you so much. <laughs> uh, Kiwi MK7, thank you. Brand new member Kiwi gave an extremely generous donation earlier. Thank you so much Kiwi. And we've had I think five or six new members today. So thank you to all of the people who resubbed or I don't know what it's remembered. That sounds weird. Re-upped re their membership. I don't know. I don't know what the correct term is. Rejoined. It used to be called join and they changed it to membership. Or does it still say join? I don't know. Rejoined. I don't know what the right terminology is. And Twitch, it's resubbed. But that's not quite on YouTube. All right, ZPL, this is for you. I'm getting better than last place. I can't guarantee anything more, but I will not get last. It's not happening again. We have learned from our mistakes. Ouch. Yeah, no, this thing's pretty fast when you're main turboing. So with the inside drift, main turbo buff, maybe we can make magic happen here. Just maybe. Oh, we have another Jet Setter in the room. It is a sight to see. I did not expect this. And we're getting a purple main turbo here. We're going 108. Let's go. Oh. We got a bomb. I, mean, I know what I'm doing with this. Pretty good first lap. I think that's balls, dags, and last. Could be wrong. Well, that's one way to dodge a pal. Yeah. 
I gotta break. I can't make these corners. There we go. Oh, why are you breading me? Unnecessary. I'm on the jet center. I'm no threat to you. All right. There's three jet setters, at least in this room. This is a beautiful sight to see. This is all ZPL is doing right here. We might have more jet setters next race. I mean, who knows? I cannot risk that. I had to use it. Use shock right now. Now. Nope. Oh, we have 3-5 with Jesset right now. That's pretty hype. I'm making it work. We're barely surviving through this track right now. Ah. I can't do anything. I, I just can't do anything. How do people use this? <laughs> Calculated. That is <laughs> the best placement I will ever get with the Jet Setter. There's no way I ever do better than that. Okay. <laughs> I was in 11th place. I was very afraid I was gonna get last after I said I would not get last. And then I just got third place. Oh my gosh. ZPL, I hope that sufficed. <laughs> Jet setter with auto or manual? Well, you know what? It felt better on auto, but I did better on manual. Granted, I almost got like fifth or sixth on auto on Waluigi Stadium, which have been incredible. Those were not easy jet setter tracks. I'm gonna randomize. Oh, perfect. Koopa Troopa Bullet Bike. S tier combo, easy victory, no problem. Let's see here, we were on Nikki Boy with the $5 donation. Hey Troy, you missed my two donations to your stream and my new membership. Let me go back up. And he says he just wanted to say, hey, Troy. Nikki, let me find your messages. Nikki boy, new membership. Oh, I missed that. I'm so sorry. I'm really sorry about that. Uh, and then I, I see it here now. Yeah. And then uh, <laughs> Nikki boy says, don't give up, Troy. Keep your clan alive. I did my best, but the other team pulled all the shocks. Literally. And uh, Nikki boy said, hey, Troy, which is, uh, you can't just say, hey, Troy. You have to say, hey, Troy. That is the correct way to say, hey, Troy. Nicholas, I feel like he's brought back all of the the Nicholas soundboardisms in just the first two episodes. He's, he's really giving you guys the quality content. I'm just happy to see Nick playing Mario Kart Wii again. He was like barely playing for the longest time. I'm going for it! Ah, yes! I'm just nailing all the shortcuts on the stream. I got the Banshee Boardwalk one. I got the Wario Shipyard one, which was incredible. And then here I am getting Shroomless Turn Skip with Koopa Troopa Bullet Bike in it. Let's go. This feels like a hacked modded vehicle after using the Jet Setter the last two races. All right. No problem. Too far to the right. Oh, that respawn is way close to the ground. Did not expect that. I think first just got blued. No item. That's really surprising. How is there no item there? This 
There's another blue. Oh, I almost got it. Oh, it's so hard. I wish it was easier, but you gotta risk it all for that cut. At least the respawn is good if you barely fail it. That's nice. Not bad, not bad. I definitely played ultra risky there, but that's kind of how I like to play anyway. It would have been so awesome if I made that. I would have gotten like second, probably, or third or something. Why with why? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much. A very entertaining race, all things considered. ZPL says, Troy, you should play battle mode. It totally isn't 500 CC or anything. 500 CC battle mode. Maybe, just maybe, we'll end the stream trying that. But ZPL, you gotta add 500 CC for the fun rooms. That would be funny. We would definitely play that sometimes. Also, I would, I would play 200 CC worldwide. I don't know how popular, it probably wouldn't be that popular, but I feel like for streamers, People would enjoy hopping on 200cc worldwide sometimes and getting rooms together. Oh, nice. Okay, so you are planning on adding 500cc. That is exciting. Oh, we got a good combo. We are getting lucky with the randomizer. I think the randomizer felt bad for me. The ZPL put me on the jet setter. So now we're getting some top tiers. What will you do for 500k special? Tom Manic, 500 hour stream, of course. <laughs> no, don't quote me on that, I'm just kidding. 500 minute stream, there we go. 500 minute stream, that's still pretty long. I'm going for a shortcut. Well, I can't go for it now. I got bumped so bad, I lost all my speed, but the shortcut's right there. Now, a lot of people got tossed off the edge. This is only a two lap track, so we do not want to fall behind early. There's a really cool spiral skip at the end of the level. Everyone knows about that shortcut. You could technically do it with one mushroom, but I don't want to risk it with one mushroom. I ideally want two or three mushrooms. Especially with this vehicle, it's not as fast. Balls Dags is on the Jet Setter. What an absolute unit. Such a beast. Did not give up the Jet Setter dream just quite yet. Gotta respect it. Shroomless. Just nailing the shortcuts today. Not making them every time, but it's been quite the showing. The shortcut showing. The spiral is a spiral. It just goes on forever. Okay, I did not think I was gonna hit that. That was a complete misjudgment. Blue shell. Okay, a couple people did the shortcut, but I think, oh, fourth. Oh, I hit too many bananas. I should've got second that race. Oh well, it happens. Still, that was a really entertaining race. Plus zero for fourth. Ouch. You can see how difficult he made it to get nines. Like, you really gotta work for it. How do you get the boost after getting off the track? Miguel, so right when you land, like the moment your vehicle hits the ground, you press A and you hold A. And 
you want to kind of you can even get the boost like a little bit like almost like a couple frames after you hit the ground but you can't do it before like a lot of times when people are missing the startup boost they're pressing a too early that's what i've learned from teaching people in the past all right randomizer let's see let's let's see what we get standard cart uh-oh this is not good we gotta pick a meme track what meme track shall we play this is a good meme track just rely on the shortcut then. Now we still got a full room, TKS Memer. I don't think anyone's going anywhere. Uh, Atani, I feel like once you like change the stats of all the vehicles, it really like the vehicles like are totally there's totally different vehicles from base game it's like that's that's like a whole new level of change in the game like i i personally like how the stats are the same as base game even though there's different tra transmissions and and there's the mario kart 8 deluxe mini turbos like i i still I, I i like it even though they're not balanced like for me like i don't necessarily like need all the vehicles to be balanced for the game to be good like i actually enjoy like using vehicles that are way worse and having to challenge myself for me, that's that's actually really fun. So um, I felt that way in base game. I feel that way with retro rewind. Like I personally like am not like like a huge fan of using modded vehicles. Like I, I've never um, gotten super into that. Like I like to make like one video on it and show a cool modded vehicle. But overall, like I do I do like the base game vehicles a lot. And once you start modding vehicle stats, then that becomes like an endless chore in itself. Like if you're trying to make all the vehicles balance, like that's pretty much impossible. Like how are you gonna even pull that off? I should have changed. Oh well. Let's go. Oh my gosh, I'm in first. I'm in first. That's gonna connect. Can I front run with this thing? There's no way. There's absolutely no way I can do the spiral. We go 100.51 when we're in a purple mini turbo with this thing. That's actually pretty good. And I'm, I'm not tricking because I already can't make this corner. That was actually pretty good. I only lost three spots. That's me drifting hard left. Look what happened. GG's. I really wish this track had the same spiral that um, ZPL added on the Rainbow Roads. Because I really like how you can kind of bounce off the edge. It makes it so any vehicle can actually make the spiral. This track like is brutal having to deal with the spiral for vehicles that have bad drift stats. It's like impossible almost. Oh, it's over. I went so far to the right. The thing has the craziest speed to it. We're getting last on this one. I think I'm actually in second to last. And maybe this bullet will give me 10. Yeah, I think I'm getting 10. Oh, 9th, 8th, 7th. Oh, 7th. Let's go. Never doubt Baby Luigi standard cart. Peak Mario Kart Wii. I was in first though. I mean, the spiral just is broken. Like, that track would be so much better if the spiral was fixed. Even if the spiral is just banked more, like the Airship Fortress spiral, like that would, that would fix it. The spiral is literally mock bike only, which is stupid. That's definitely one of my least favorite tracks in the whole thing. But if the spiral was fixed, it'd be great. It's literally just a spiral. <laughs> Ozzy music. That was pretty good. Only lost three spots. See, I should never be saying that. I should never be saying that was pretty good. Only lost three spots. But the track has such a bad feature to it that that is how I felt. I was like, oh, <laughs> like, I expected to lose 11 spots on the spiral. So funny. 
I got the Quacker now. That This should be entertaining. I hope Rainbow Road doesn't get chosen. If that gets chosen, it's over. I would love Waluigi Pinball. I could win that one. Seriously, I'm good at the shortcut. How often do you stream? You can ask the chat, but I stream every day. Right, guys? Yeah, totally. <laughs> the spiral was unholy on Death Sitter. I feel like it's an easy fix. I feel like you just just uh, implement the same uh, features as GCN Rainbow Road and DS Rainbow Road spirals. Implement that to Wario Coliseum, and the track is literally fixed. This is a really fun track. I'm super excited for this. And I'm happy I'm on Inside Drift, at least. This is going to be a crazy race. I feel like I'm definitely going to get bumped off the edge, but we'll do our best. It's going to be a challenge. Or I'm just going to miss the item box and fall off. Great. Should not have gone for that. Alright, so the bumping off has commenced. I am uh, half a lap behind right now. Dodge and catch up though. Alright, I'm gonna go for the shortcut right here. Oh, this thing gets so much air. I never land anywhere near there with the flame runner. Oh my gosh, okay, I completely messed that up. I've never obviously attempted any of the retro rewind like expert shortcuts. <laughs> with the quacker. Gotta definitely account for the just the insane weight stat and you get more air with this vehicle than almost any vehicle in the game. I guess I'll hold this because I can't chain it. And then I'll use it for the shortcut and try again. I feel very nervous going for this. Now I don't make it? That's really unfortunate. This is over. <laughs> Target shock. Oh. I think I'm done randomizing combos. The, I think the room is too good for it. It is fun though, we have a couple other people that are picking goofy combos with me, but then we're just kind of all getting slaughtered by the top tiers. Like, randomizing combos is really fun when everyone does it. Or just like using goofy combos in general. But when we have all these mock bikes and flame runners, it's honestly not that fun to randomize. I'm just gonna go back to tryharding it, because this is the kind of room we're in. I've given away enough VR today. Yeah, I, uh, you know, risking it all, going for a shortcut, worth it. I, I Honestly, I'd rather go for it and fall off than not go for it at all. These loading screens take forever. Yay! But yeah, shortcut, not that bad on Mach Bike and Flame Runner. I just was on the Quacker and I really had no idea how to balance the lack of speed with the crazy amount of height you get. It was weird. Like one time I overshot it, which I've never done before. I didn't even know that was possible. And then the other time what happened to me is more common when I fail it with Flame Runner. I usually like get close to making it, but I hit the edge. But yeah, that track's really fun. I'm, I'm just bummed I didn't get to play it on a top tier. Because uh, playing a Rainbow Road on the Quacker is pretty much impossible. Because if anyone bumps you, you fall off the edge. Like, if you're on the middle of the track, you'll still fly off the edge most of the time. But, uh, yeah. Do not care how many times I fell off. Worth it for the Mario Kart science. I do not play safe very often when I play Mario Kart Wii. Like, when you've been playing this game, like, for half your life, like, 
playing safe is not really that interesting anymore. Always gotta go for it. I'm gonna get start here, aren't I? I'm gonna go really wide. Nice. Yo, Fox. This track, like, overall looks pretty good, but the Opera House, like, needs some work. I feel like the Opera House feels a little dull. Like, the, the texturing just feels like a little bit, like, low res. I'm going this way for a box. I got a pow, no, no shortcut now. It's really close, wow. We take those. That was literally a half second cannon. Into a mushroom? Oh, let's go. Whoa. This mock by player is fast. Let's go! Ladies and gentlemen, the Flame Runner, best vehicle in the game. Big surprise. Makes Mario Kart a hundred times easier. Thank you, Roxy. Pleasure to have you stop by. You would have dominated the last knockout tournament. And I'm sure the next one will be right up your alley. So definitely got to get in the rooms. <laughs> you went auto Flame Runner. That is sadness. I wonder what ranking, what, how good would Auto Flame Runner be on the tier list? Probably F tier, maybe one above it. I can't imagine it being much better, but probably still better than most of the vehicles on automatic. The Flame Runner is just OP. Is there a mod to have all outside your vehicles? Interval, yeah, actually, I've made a video on that a long time ago. The thing is, is like, it's just not nearly as interesting as Inside Drift. Like, it is funny to see the Mach Bike and the Flame Runner on Outside Drift, and they're not bad, like, they're kind of playable. But Inside Drift with like, the Outside Drift vehicles is a lot more interesting, it makes them better while obviously making the Inside drift vehicles, outside drift just makes them worse. But it would be really fun to have that as an option for rooms. Like imagine making it so everyone has to play on outside drift. That would be really interesting. I think that would be a great addition to fun rooms. Like just having the ability to customize the transmission options for everyone in the room. Oh, I messed that up, whoops. Wow, I actually hit with both traps. Let's go. I really did not come out. All right. Probably going to get Mario Karted here. Yep. Oh no, I can't chain that. Okay, at least I made it through the shortcut. This is kind of a rough one though. Do not like my chances here. I'm gonna try to get a good item. That's not it. That's not it. Yes. Worth it. Fourth place on Luigi Circuit is first place on any other track. I'll take sixth place on Luigi Circuit. <laughs> Luigi Circuit is so silly. Plus nine, beautiful. We're getting our points back. 
<laughs> do you have your Funky Kong custom skin from 2013? No, I do not. I, I really don't have many of my old mods in general. I have a handful of them. The ones that I've kept are like the Platinum Runner and Tiny Tracks. The speed mods are great, but most most mods I, I don't have anymore. Even the music pack like that I used in the last few Knockout series, I had to go re-download that from Shadow's music pack version two, the YouTube video. And then that's how I got that again. And then I'll probably make another series with using like his version three music pack or something, just to mix it up. Cause we've listened to the same music pack the last couple knockout tournaments. <laughs> Luigi circuit sucks. <laughs> Josh LA5436, couldn't have said it better myself. Thank you for the $5. I endured Luigi circuit and I was gifted five big ones. Thank you, Josh. Oh, that was a that was a typical Luigi Circuit race, but hey, at least I got a blue shell on lap two and lap three, not lap three. Like if you get blue lap three in that spot, it's the saddest feeling ever. Lap two though, you at least have a little bit of hope left, and that ended up going really well. Mark with the two dollars, thank you. Try Flame Runner next race; it's actually solid. Ooh, Flame Runner. Or sorry. Flame Flyer. I read that wrong. <laughs> it's like, like the flame. The flame runner is really solid. Like I had no idea. Getting some regular tracks. This is cool. Let's see if I remember how to play them. Kind of. I missed the boost panel. Cool. I guess I'm in first. Now we got this really annoying part of the track. But we're chilling. Great lap. Oh, we connected it on second. I did, I did not expect that. I just threw that back for fun. I did not expect that to do anything. I might be able to be in first after this. Oh, okay, we're good, we're good. We got this. Moonview Highway, great track. That is actually a great like track to use as an example when like, just like teaching people track design because it's like, if you put a lot of boost panels on a track, then it is a front run track. And we've seen it a lot with custom tracks. Some custom tracks have so many boost panels and trick ramps that it makes it impossible to catch up. And they are Moonview Highway tracks. The thing with Moonview Highway is at least it has like really difficult cars to evade. Like the tightest lines also in, like you have to avoid like incoming traffic on blind corners. Like that's such a cool mechanism to the track. <laughs> 500cc battle worldwide. Is there a room going right now? If there is, I'll consider. But right now, we got a full room, so this is fun. Oh, I forgot to pick Flame Flyer. Mark, I'm so sorry. I will pick it next race, if I remember. But I can't switch my combo now. I totally forgot, I'm sorry. Flame Flyer next race, we're making it happen. I feel like I'd want outside drift for the Flame Flyer but we're gonna have to just rock inside drift because I can't change the transmission of the drift in Worldwide. I think I can only do that on the main online menu. So, a little unfortunate. What music pack does Nick have? Did he make it? I think Nick probably made that music pack himself. I'm not sure if um, he downloaded it from somewhere though. 
Blue Hawk. Thank you for the three month resub. A quarter of a year already. I kind of forgot I was a member here, but I don't regret it one bit. Troy is the GOAT. Thank you so much, Blue Hawk. Let's go. So many resubs today, some new subscribers, some extremely generous donations coming from Kiwi and ZPL. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate the love. Definitely had some, uh, some unfortunate moments with the stream, with the disconnections, but things are running pretty well here in the Worldwide. So we've had no connection problems at all. What? Did you see that? Did you guys see that? I thought someone just invented an ultra shortcut mid-race. That was terrifying. Yes, I hit second or third. I think it's probably better just to wheelie here. It's probably faster. I don't know. No traps on this corner, no traps here. Ouch. We have a breakaway right now. There's a massive shortcut on this track, so even if you're in first, someone could just pop out and gain five seconds on you out of nowhere, so definitely haven't won this yet. And the pinballs. You can never disrespect the pinballs. They are here to end your life, as we know. Chaining enough items here, I might be able to get Shroom Glitch at this rate. I think I got like a five second lead right now. Oh! Well, that really shakes things up. Five people just dodging the cannon. It was the worst shock in the history of the Mario Kart franchise. Whoever used that shock, shame on you. <laughs> Seriously. Well. The craziest part about all of this is I'm still in first place. Universe almost had the snipe of a lifetime and ended my career, but we managed to pull out first place. Super long track, almost three minutes. Felt like I was never gonna make it there. I had the biggest lead ever and lap three was catastrophic, almost. Five people dodge shock, I get blue shelled, and then I almost get sniped on the second to last corner. That was a crazy one. Okay, so, uh, we're gonna pick Flame Flyer. We're not forgetting Mark's donation. I'm on top of it right now. Shortcut is back! Short, short cat, not shortcut. <laughs> shortcut, you missed so many cool short, shortcuts. Shortcut, you missed the shortcuts. You gotta watch Wario Shipyard, Banshee Boardwalk. I don't, don't watch GBA Rainbow Road. I failed that one. Let's see, he wanted, what a Mike? He just wanted Flame Flyer, he did not specify the character, so we're gonna go King Boo for Shortcut. Flame Flyer for Mark, King Boo for Shortcut. Uh, we'll go manual, because it's more interesting, even though automatic might be better. What What was the other, I made another really, really good, oh, I made the shortcut on um, GCN Rainbow Road, on the Shooting Star, I did like the U-turn skip at the beginning of the lap, that was really good. So um, I think my favorite one today though is getting the Wario Shipyard shortcut. That was so clutch. I did that to perfection. And that's one a lot of people don't know how to do. So over time as this mod progresses, um, we are going to see a lot more people taking advantage of the shortcuts. There's even a new one that people don't know about on Airship Fortress. You can clip through the wall and skip the U-turn after the mole section. I don't think anyone hardly knows about it. It's really cool. You can clip through the wall, and it's it's like not that difficult with mock bike. It's a little harder with flame runner. Ouch! All right, here we go. We got 
King Boo, the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe meta, as everyone knows, right guys? We have, oh gosh, oh gosh, these, these tricks are not working. <laughs> these tricks are not working. Okay, okay, we're good. We have SNES BC3, the greatest Bowser's Castle in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. There, I said it. And there is a really cool shortcut on this track as well. Also, we are going 105 when we're in a purple lane turbo. Look at this. 105.18. And we still got we still got the purple. Now we lost it. That was a beautiful lane turbo. I'm just gonna go wide. I'm not messing with that that route over there. Because these these trick boosts make me kind of like sway to the side a little bit. I'm kind of wary of them. I wanna have space for my tricks. Can I get up top? Oh, I don't know if I can go for shortcut, guys. There's such a cool shortcut on this level. It just uh, is probably not going to be possible with this combo. But the good news is we're actually doing amazing right now. We are in fourth place overall. Just got to watch out for Rumi's red shells. Yeah, this is actually pretty good. Oh, blue shell. Going super wide. I, I, I'm trying to get the boxes, but the, the, oh, this is pain, this is pain. The, the tricks, the, I must, I, I gotta try maybe a down trick or, or something, because the, the up trick is shooting me sideways. Oh, if I got a mushroom there, I could have gone for it. Yes. Yeah, see, it always shoots me to the side when I do an up trick. Something about this vehicle, that was really screwing me up on the platform section of the track after the first two corners. Not bad though, fourth place, not too shabby. We'll take it. Plus zero, that is a W. Let's go. All right, give me another vehicle suggestion chat. You guys are so sweet, but you should be enjoying the King Boo gameplay. We're gonna we're gonna run it back with King Boo, with the Flame Flyer, this goaded combo, absolute legendary combo right here. You gotta love the blazing pink flames on the side. It is very like 70s Chevy esque. It is it is glorious. This is a beautiful cart vehicle combination right here. We're gonna run it back one more race. King Boo Flame Flyer, the best looking combo on the Wien Five streets right here. Super blooper! All right, we'll do super blooper next race. Great suggestions. I see super blooper, I'm making it happen. Tony, Tony is here, let us go. How are the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe races going, my friend? He says, what's good, man? Just playing more Retro Rewind. I haven't been playing 8 Deluxe almost at all, but I'm gonna get back to it. I have 27,400 VR, so, you know. Quite a ways to get to 30K. <laughs> Haven't played that much this year, but I'm gonna get back to it. I'm falling behind in the race. When is the blindfolded KO? Cowman, absolutely never. Nice try. Oh, I wish I had outside drift for this. This is gonna be tough, guys. I don't think I'm gonna get better than sixth or seventh place. Last race was a miracle. Okay, we're not gonna get purples, but oranges are pretty good. Look at this. Look at, oh, never mind, don't look. <laughs> that was actually really good. I'm still in second right now. I can't get the items because I can't turn. Oh, I, I don't know what to do. I have so little options of movement. This is pain. Yes, okay, I didn't get, I didn't get starred. Wow, early shock, lap one shock. Okay. Really set early. Get that full speed bonus. I'm not going for shortcut. I just remember what vehicle I'm on.
probably get a orange meter bow on that corner if you do it right and then combo it with him. You can get I mean you can get a purple into an orange there, I think. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out the lines of this track with this crazy combo. Having a difficult time with that. I need to dodge. That's how I'm gonna get a good spot in this race. I need to dodge. That is not a dodge item. This is looking grim, guys. This is looking really grim. But Balls Dags is back here too on the Flame Flyer. Waluigi Flame Flyer combo. Renewed hope. I am not in this alone, fellas. We have Balls Dags on our side. I cannot get a purple nature bow with this thing to save my life. It is so difficult. There we go. I did it. See, now we're chaining. I still have the purple. I still have it. I need a star. That's not a star! See, I knew I needed it. I don't like this. I need a mega. Oh! No! This is madness right now. That's unfortunate. Just kinda get you kinda get locked in your lines with cards and you pay the price. Yes! Got the blooper! Prepare to get passed by eight people. That is actually really good. I will take sixth. That did not feel like a race where you got sixth place. It felt like I got 10th or worse. Not bad, not bad. All right. Kiwi MK7 with the five uh, euro, don't know, is that, yeah, that's euros. Five euro donation. I sometimes mix up the euro and the pound sign. Uh, Diddy Kong Super Blooper. All right. Diddy Kong Super Blooper. We are not messing around, folks. This is serious business. We are getting a W with a meme combo before today ends. This is better than the last combo. It's not as fast, but considering the tracks I was playing, I would way rather be on this than the other vehicle. Granted, Flame Flyer, King Boo on a simple track like Figure Eight Circuit, we would have dominated. We would have floored the competition. Kiwi MK7, thank you for the $5. Five, uh, five euro and V with the $20 donation. V, thank you so, so much. Hi Troy, I love your videos. I am looking forward to the next Flounder Fest, but is it possible to use the Quacker? I did use the Quacker earlier and I got almost last place <laughs> with any character you want. Also, is there gonna be another Mario Kart 8 Deluxe video or no? Yes, yes. There is an amazing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe video coming out, but we cannot spoil anything. No rush. I was just curious. V, thank you so much for the donation. And I will uh, I, I will do two more races after this. I will do one with the Quacker and then I will do one for the last donation. So we got two more after Diddy Kong Super Booper. We used, we dominated with the Flame Runner today. We seriously popped off with the Flame Runner and then anytime we were not using the Flame Runner, it's been a struggle. Like the first G GP of this stream was, was uh, crazy. We, we had all the luck, it was awesome. This is the tightest line I can take, and we're struggling. I don't even wanna get the trick going into the cannon, because otherwise I couldn't make the corner. See, I still can't even make it. Jeez. Nice though, the purple's for real. Right, I think I'm okay. Still gonna be in third, not bad, not bad. Purple here, purple, purple! Yes, purple, purple power. And I'm holding it, I'm holding it! Yes! Does my purple continue here? It does not. The animation shows up, but it does not work. All right, we're not tricking, we're holding hard right. We're gonna actually break and restart our drift so we don't die. Oh, I'm at first, I'm at first! No! This keeps happening to me. I have mushroom and first shock happens. Go, go, go! 
Oh, we're losing our lead. I'm getting the purple. Yes. Don't, 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 don't do it. Don't do it. Don't trap me. Yes. Go, go, go. Oh, third place. I mean, that's great though. We'll take third. We'll take third. That was great. That was fantastic. We almost got second. We gained VR. Diddy Kong, Super Blooper, B tier. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Not very good, but we made it work. It actually was barely playable. That was fun. All right. This is for V with the $20 donation earlier. And V wanted the Quacker. And I'm gonna go Baby Luigi Quacker. It's my favorite combo with the Quacker. We have the weight bonus, we have the speed bonus. Usually Baby Daisy is the better character, but I think with the Quacker, Baby Luigi is the way to go. And then we're gonna end it with uh, Pidjo O O O with the two pound donation. He wants Donkey Kong Off-Roader, and we can't say no to that. But first, Quacker, Quacker magic happening in the house. Randomizer, do your thing. I mean, almost everyone votes tracks, but I, I really just like to vote random every time. There's too many tracks, I can't make a decision. We got TK as Memer with the two pound donation. Remember to try 500cc battle before ending the stream. I have to go in like 10 minutes. So honestly, I'll probably just play this and next race will be the final one. And then I'll try out battle next time. Maybe. I don't know, 500cc battle sounds like torture. Does the friendly fire work how it does on Team VS? Like the same way? I hope it does. Because the problem with battle is with friendly fire off, not being able to hit your teammates, it was really silly. But Team VS is saved in fun room, so I'm guessing it's the same for battle. I'm not sure. Going really wide. Oh, okay, we got Mario Kart 8 Deluxe track here. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Deluxified Donut Plains 3. Beautiful. This is gonna be a fun one. I think the Quacker is good on this one because there's nowhere I can get bumped off the edge. And that is the biggest problem with the Quacker. Also, there's lots of shortcuts and we can cheese a win. Nobody went for that. Oh, I almost did that perfect. Not quite. There's a mushroom here. I hit too much off route. Let's try the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Strat. Oh, look at that, it works! Beast, absolute busted strategy. I just did the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Meta Strat in Mario Kart Wii. I don't think I've ever done that, because with the Flamer, that would not be faster, but with this vehicle, this, this strategy actually works. I'm breaking, I'm getting the item. And it's good. Great. Kind of a hard time getting my main triples out, but we're making it work. Losing a lot of time right now, this is scary. I'm doing this again. Look at this, it's faster, it's faster. Oh my, I cannot believe my eyes. I seriously cannot, I cannot believe how much faster that is. Let's go! Shortcat is gonna love that right there. Cause that is like a total Mario Kart 8 Deluxe play right there. Using that Shroomless shortcut, which is not faster by any means with the Flame Runner or the Mock Bike. But with the Quacker, that is way faster. I probably am saving a second or two every single lap doing that. That was hype. We should have ended on that, but we're gonna do one more race. Just one more race. Donkey Kong Off-Roader, and I'm really happy. I got my first place with a meme vehicle, and that's more of like a D-tier vehicle though. That That is not an F-tier vehicle. It's, it's like a top like 12 vehicle in the game still. So it's not terrible, which is why we were able to win. It's very hard to win with most of the vehicles in the game. 
Discovering new strats on the fly. Chronic doof, you know it. That was actually so unexpected. I did not know that would be faster, let alone like shaving multiple seconds each lap. That is a legit strategy. If you're on the Magic Cruiser or the Dolphin Dasher, that might be the best vehicle for that track. I would not be surprised. Incredible. <clears throat> the meta is quacked out, bruh. <laughs> Let's go. All right, I'm trying to pick the last combo, but we're on please wait a moment. I think the game is gonna crash because I didn't even know a quacker can get first place. And the game is having a hard time dealing with this new information. Ooh, a lot of people disconnected. All right, here we go. This one is for the earlier donation. It sounded like a fun combo. Let's look at the stats. The off-roader has average off-road. It makes no sense. The weight stat is actually insane though. The weight stat is almost the same as the Prana Prowler, but it has way more acceleration and handling. This thing is like the Prana Prowler, but better. Let's see how we do. Last last race of the video. Yo, Luigi fan 0802 with the $1. Let's celebrate their third their third super on a live stream. That's what it says on my screen. Thank you for the third super. I don't know about the namings of these things. Calling it a super is weird. Just call it a donation. Why is it called a super? I don't know. All right, ladies and gentlemen, last track, last lap, Rainbow Road, 3DS, off-roader. There's no off-road on this track, but it doesn't matter because this thing doesn't even have a good off-road stat. Anyway, let's go, bomb, throw, snipe. Oh, oh did, I, did I connect that? I don't know. Well, he's gone, so that's good. Oh! That was close. Even though the beginning of the stream we had so many disconnection issues, it's actually been really smooth in Worldwide. We had no issues at all, like almost no lag problems. It's ran really well the last hour, which is great. I was a little worried the first half of the stream. I'm off. No, I'm good. Oh, this thing is cracked. This thing is like the Mach 8 in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. It can have one wheel on the track, it's still on the track. That's fine. We're chilling. Top tier vehicle, no problem. Easy money. Ah, that was bad. All right, we're losing ground pretty quick. The top two are up there. The one thing I miss about this track, I really liked when it had the shortcut. It used to be able to cheese wins at the end, but the shortcut from Mario Kart 7 is not in this one. This one mirrors the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe version more, but it also doesn't have the shortcut in the middle of the lap either. It's just missing shortcuts. Ouch, ouch. Going really wide. I can get fifth maybe if someone messes up here. Maybe I'll do one more race. Not bad though, I mean definitely not bad. We were actually like in a really good spot until the red shell. Minus 42, alright. We're gonna do one more race. What combo should I use? Oh my gosh, you guys are way too nice today. I think you guys want me to stream more. Seriously. Kiwi MK7 with another 50 euro donation. We have a hundred euros from Kiwi. We have a hundred dollars from ZPL. We have so many people in the chat that have been giving uh, supers or whatever they're called. And so many resubs, re-memberships. Re I don't know the terminology. I really need to learn the terminology. We're gonna randomize the last one. I just wanna say subscriptions, but subscriptions are something totally different. Oh, we got a busted combo for the last one. There is no way I lose this one. Standard bike, Diddy Kong. That's the meta. Absolutely cracked. I cannot wait for this last race. <laughs> Troy is addicted to Mario Kart right now. <clears throat> I know, if I didn't have to go in like three minutes, I would play another three hours. 500 minute stream for 500k subs. How many hours is that? I think it's like eight hours and 20 minutes or something like that. Yeah, that's that's a long time. I could do that. 500 minute stream for 500k subs. 
Oh, I'm gonna disconnect. I th oh, we just got wrecked. You know what? Still, it did run really well. It ran really well for a long time. And we didn't lose VR for that. And currently there is a way to play battle mode on Retro Rewind. That's pretty cool. And then something I recommend, I know that Blast Blitz did not look like the most fun game mode ever when I showcased it earlier. However, I want you guys to know about this because some people are gonna be downloading Retro Rewind on Dolphin. They are not gonna have the ability to play online at the beginning, might not have known how to do that. So one of the most fun ways to play offline, seriously, is to go to settings, go to the game mode and change it to Blast Blitz and then go up to intense CPU and make sure you have it enabled and then go to Grand Prix. You can pick any CC, I recommend 150 so you don't lose your sanity. And then from here, it actually gives you trophy ranks and you can try to beat every single cup. So like, as you can see, actually let me check to make sure I'm not blocking it. Oh, I am, one second. You can see it gives you a, a trophy and a rank for every single cup. So it's something really cool to strive for to be able to try to get first on all the cups and doing so on intense CPU is quite the challenge. But the fact is you can combine the item modes like randomized items or blast splits with the intense CPU and then give yourself an extremely difficult grand pre mode challenge. Like it is really tough. I have another Wii that I actually have gotten first on almost every single one and then I'm going to be finishing my series of doing the impossible CPUs or intense CPUs for the rest of the tracks. We've done Super Nintendo and N64 so far on YouTube. We're gonna do the other five games and we're gonna do these bonus cups as well. There's six of them here with Wii U and Tour Tracks. So that is gonna be something to look forward to and we're gonna be doing it with blast splits and randomized items. Maybe even a mushroom mode, that'll still be difficult. So we're gonna be having a lot of fun with that in the near future. But anyway, just gonna read the last couple couple donations real quick. Luigi fan zero eight zero two with the two dollars says, "Also, I have a YouTube channel." Well, in order to donate, you have to have one, so I believe you. And Luigi fan also two dollars says, "Hi Troy, I love you. I love your video. I am a subscriber." Luigi fan is just dropping knowledge. Let's go. And we got Rumi with the five dollars. Hey man, been watching since I was little. It's surreal. Finally racing against you. Keep it up, man. Good games. You are quite the racer. Those are some close battles. Definitely giving me a run for my money on some of those tracks. And I hope to see you in future streams and good games. Be sure to add the open, uh, open host license if you haven't already, because it is available to anyone. You do not have to be subscribed or uh, you don't have to be a membership, whatever it's called. You, you don't have to be a member <laughs> on YouTube in order to join all of the world lights and fun rooms. Um, let's see here. I'm just gonna read the chat real quick before we sign off. Troy, could you make Road to Nines return except on randomized combos on Retro Rewind? Laser, eventually I will do some sort of Road to 99 series on Retro Rewind. It'll be very difficult to get nines on Retro Rewind. I wanna wait until more people are playing worldwide so it's easier to get in rooms. I think the summer would be a possibility for doing that. I could also stream that, because if I stream that, then, you know, It'll be easier to get in rooms, and it'll be easier just to just 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 to be able to have it at 12 players too. So we'll we'll see we'll see. I'll, I'll think of something. Definitely definitely some sort of road to 99 series via YouTube or stream in the future. I can assure you that because the VR system on Retro Rewind will make it really challenging, and it would take a long time. But I think it would be a good series, and I'm excited for when they add more tracks to this. There's actually some really good additions. Um, I really liked, uh, what's it called? Bangkok Rush and Rome Avanti. Those are really good. Wii U Mario Circuits improved. Chaco Island 1 RMX, that was good as well. I like that one. Um, I really like RMX Ghost Valley 1. There's an awesome shortcut at the beginning. So yeah, a lot to look forward to. And then as for Airship Fortress, I think I will save that one. Uh, that, that I was talking about the shortcut earlier. I'll save it for next stream. That's really cool and you guys, Definitely need to download Retro Rewind if you haven't already. 
and I'm gonna be making a shortcut montage on the entire mod, showcasing all of the expert shortcuts this mod has to offer. So I'll probably have that out in the next month, month and a half. So that's something to look forward to as well. All right, guys, that is it. Thank you for tuning in. And seriously, thank you so much, all of you guys, for the generous donations. I am mind blown and floored. I did not expect this, and I cannot wait to stream again. Thank you, guys. And that is all.